What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video and I'm just checking in on you. What's going on? How's it going? Now today is May 28th and this is going to be your weekly vendor reset and must buys. So sit back, relax, grab that popcorn, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know what you think in the comments section below. But we're going to start off here in Washington DC and then we will finish up in New York City. Our first vendor is going to be the Base of Ops vendor. Here we go. Hello, Agent. And Ladies. starting off with the Swap Chain, this is the named MP7 with magazine size and perfect unwavering. Following that, we have a Tactical Aug with max SMG damage, magazine size again, and strained. Finally, we have, well, not finally, but the TKB 408 with max swap speed and vindictive. And finally, for the weapons, a PX4 storm type t with a uh, near max pistol damage damage to armor and ranger wow interesting looking at the gear items we have a wyvern backpack with status effects crit chance and leadership and finally an electric chest piece with skill damage weapon handling and obliterate looking at the mods we have crit damage 10.3 drone duration 6.4 turret duration 5.9 and Sticky Bomb Blast Radius of 4.7. Now, must buys things to look for from the Base of Ops vendor. Um, there really isn't anything I'd recommend. All right, moving on. Uh, the other two vendors here at the Base of Ops will be the Countdown vendor and the Clan vendor. Remember, they are both in Washington, D.C. and New York City. Here is your Countdown vendor. With the three named items this week, we have the Mozambique Special. This is the named pistol with perfect bread basket and it comes with swap speed. Following that, we have the Combustor. This is the named Palisade Steelworks chest piece with perfectly explosive delivery. And this one, crit chance and skill damage. Not bad. And finally, well, actually, crit chance and skill damage. Now that's actually really good. Because you could have some killer skills, throw that out, have the perfectly explosive delivery. Mm, that could be dirty. And then finally, the Ekum's long stick with max headshot damage, crit chance, and perfect ranger. This is a great sniper to have. I would just recalibrate the bottom attribute off for, say, damage to targets out of cover or damage to armor. Um, the combustor is a good one to look at. I'm not a big explosive delivery fan, but this does look good. Decent, pretty sure. All right. <clears throat> and our last vendor of the base of ops is going to be the clan vendor. Now, remember, shout out to the DoD Disciples of Doom. We are on all platforms, PlayStation, PC, and Xbox. So if you are interested in joining the clan, it is a private clan, but we do invite people in ever, you know, whenever we have uh, some spots open due to inactivity or, you know, people going on hiatus, what have you. So jump on my Discord server. To get there, you just need to go to my channel about me, and the very first link will be my Discord server. Once you go into there, there will be a few different tabs for different clan options, depending on your platform. And then I'll send out messages for invites whenever I have a few spots open. All right. Now, after that, let's talk about the clan vendor. Starting with the Grudge. This is the named Banshee SMG with max health damage and perfect vindictive. Moving on to the gear set items, we have a Rigor Holster with repair skills, Umbra Mask with skill haste, Aegis Gloves with health, high-end items, we have a Military MK17 with flatline, nice, and swap speed, a GR9 with max LMG damage accuracy and close and personal, interesting, Petrov knee pads with crit chance and headshot. Eh, I mean, that's pretty good if you're not going to use the uh, contractor's gloves. Not bad. Going gear knee pads, headshot, and skill haste. You could easily just recalibrate the skill haste for armor region, go armor region, headshot. For the Providence Defense knee pads, we have Headshot and Status Effects. Um, this is a good pair of knee pads. I'd pick this one up and um, recalibrate the Status Effects off for Crit Chance and go Crit Chance Headshot for those Providence knees. 
Next, we have Badger Tough Holster with Armor Region and Explosive Resistance. And finally, Araldi Holdings Holster with Headshot and Health. This is another great thing. Uh, just take off the health for Crit Chance and go Crit Chance Headshot again. Not bad. Looking at the mods, we have Headshot Damage 8.0, Firefly Blind Effect Duration 6.3, Turret damage, 4.3, and Sticky Bomb burn duration of 4%. Now, must buy things to look for from the clan vendor. Um, hmm. Petrov knee pads aren't bad. Pretty good. The Golden Gear knee pads, again, you can go Armor Region headshot. And then finally, the Providence knee pads go Crit Chance headshot. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, so that is it for the base of ops. So now we are going to travel west, and then we will double back east. Our first stop is going to be the campus settlement. Now, if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing. We are now 1,600 subs away from 100K. So if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell. That way you don't miss a single Division video. And here we go, campus. Starting with the Tabula Rasa. This is the named LMG with Perfect Steady Handed. And this week it comes with Health Damage. But if you want to pick this one up, uh, go for it. The LMG damage is high enough to where I would say just recalibrate the Health Damage to Damage to Armor. And then optimize the damage to targets at a cover. Moving on, we have a SR1 with Crit Hit Damage and In Sync. A M249 Bravo with Eyeless and Headshot Damage. Gear items, we have a Wyvern Mask with Headshot and Armor Region. And finally, Brazos de Arcaba's Holster with Explosive Resistance and Skill Damage. Looking at the mods, we have Repair Skill 16.2. Uh, ensnare, or uh, Skill Haste on a Chem Launcher 6.1. Hive Health 7.4. Pulse Effect Duration 8.9. And Trap Shock Radius of 6.1. Now, must buys from the campus, not really. I mean, the tabula rasa is nice and all, but mm, not my cup of tea. All right, so that leads us to our Dark Zone vendors, starting with Dark Zone West. Ha West! Let's go. Now, just a reminder, for all of these Dark Zone vendors, you do need Dark Zone resources to buy anything from these vendors. So to double check your DZ resources, go to your resources tab, and just above your keys, you will see your Dark Zone resources. So you can see here, I am only at 30 out of 999. So I don't really have that many DZ resources. Therefore, if there's anything I'd like to buy, I need to go into the Dark Zone and either open up those little blue boxes to give me DZ resources, or I have to pick up contaminated items, deconstruct them into DZ resources, and then extract them. But that's how you do it. All right. So speaking of the Dark Zone, let's talk Come about Dark Zone West look. Vendor. Here we go. Hello there. And starting with the Baker's Dozen, this is the named M1A with Perfect Lucky Shot, and this week it comes with Armor Damage. Not bad. Not bad at all. Moving on, we have a 612 with uh, Crit Chance and Bread Basket, an 1886 with Damage Targets at a Cover and Determined. Wow. Wow, dude. Wow. Determined and damage to targets out of cover. Bruh. This is a great rifle to pick up. Holy guacamole. I'm not even a big rifle person, but I know for a fact picking this one up with damage targets out of cover and determined, you could easily just sit behind a crusader shield or a striker shield and just one tap everybody. Um, wow. Not bad. Not bad at all. Check that one out. 1886 DZ West. For the gear items, we have Future Initiative Gloves with Repair Skills. True Patriot Knee Pads with Crit Chance. Grupo Gloves with Crit Damage and Headshot Damage. You could easily make those double crit just by recalibrating the headshot off for Crit Chance. And you'd have double crit Grupo Gloves right there. Badger Tough Knee Pads with Weapon Handling and Explosive Resistance. And looking at the mods, we have Pulse Resistance 8.3, Seeker Mind Damage 4.1, Shield Active Region 4.2, eh, Firefly Speed 8.1, and Trap Duration of 6.0. Now, must buys, things to look for from DZ West, most definitely the 1886. 
Um, I really wouldn't go for the gear items. They are very expensive. But the Grupo, you can make into double crit. So that's not bad. Not bad at all. All right. So that is it for DZ West. Now it's time to take our talents down south to the DZ South. Here we go. Come on, boy. Going down south. Woo. All right. DZ South, big money, big money, big money, no whammies. Ooh, okay. Ah, the attributes though, dang. Um, this is the gift. Uh, <laughs> the reason why I'm kind of hesitant is I wouldn't recommend this. It's rainbow rolled and it's just not good. The reason why I say rainbow rolled is because it's one of each color. So you have a red, a yellow, and a blue on the same item. Uh, typically, you do not want to see that. <laughs> and that's the case with this one. Ah, it sucks. Because the gift is a PvP exclusive named item. So therefore, the only way to get this backpack with perfect vigilance is through the dark zone, conflict, or named item caches. Now, if you're nasty and you go into descent, you could get a reconstructed cache and get this as a blueprint that way you can just craft it whenever you want, but most people resort to either the DZ conflict or named item caches. So what I would say here is you could easily just uh, recalibrate that skill damage off for say crit chance and then optimize the rest of this build. But remember you would have armor region there. So I don't know if that's something you'd like or not, but it's here DZ South, the gift. Following that, we have, damn, dude, pick up this Vector right now. Damage to targets out of cover, Vector 45 ACP, pick it up right now. Damn, this is a must-buy. Pick up this Vector, because what you can do is you can recalibrate that talent off for Flatline, and you could have all that amplified damage on your Vector with damage to targets out of cover, and that Flatline, that'd be dirty. This is such a good weapon. I already have one myself. I highly recommend you pick one up for yourself. Moving on, we have a SOCOM Mark 16 with magazine size and stabilize, and a Diceros with accuracy and ranger. Looking at the gear items, we have True Patriot Backpack with skill damage, Heartbreaker Chest Piece with explosive resistance, Hana Yu Backpack with versatile repair skills and armor regen, and finally, Overlord chess piece with weapon handling, hazard, and entrench. Looking at the mods, we have crit hit damage 10.2, drone scan range 8.1, turret plus one extra sniper, and sticky bomb blast radius of 5.0. Now, must buys things to look for from DZ South, the gift, even though it's not the best rolls in the game. I still have to recommend it just because it is a PvP exclusive item. However, if you change that skill damage to crit chance and optimize this backpack, it would still be very powerful. And finally, the uh, Vector 45 ACP is a must buy all day long. If you know anything about this video from today, just know that this Vector is really, really strong. Just uh, change the talent to flatline, put on a linked laser pointer, and you're good to go. I appreciate the All right. And before we go to DZ East, we have to make a pit stop into the castle settlement. Now, uh, remember, go to the descent entrance. It's a lot easier Combat to go to the vendor program. through this way. Active. And you can do a shortcut and pet the dog really quick. Yo, what up, Ransom? There we go. Now, while Ransom's uh, in front of the dog house, she will just wag her tail, which is fine. But make sure you pet the dog. All right. And then we, uh, we'll we go to our castle settlement. There we go. GG's. Run! There you go. Come on. Run! Ah! What up, Wally? All right. So, castle settlement. Here we go. Here we go. Starting with the new Reliable. This is the named RPK with Perfectly Optimized. And it comes with Headshot Damage. Following that, we have a classic M44 carbine with swap speed and flatline. Nice. And a military M60 with health damage and ranger. Looking at the gear items, we have a Cheska mask with weapon handling and armor regen. And Cheska holster with weapon handling and skill damage. Both of those are disgusting. 
Looking at the mods, we have Repair Skills 16.1, Chem Launcher Heals 5.8, Hive Plus 4 Stem Charges, Pulse Radius 8.7, and Trap Duration of 4.1. Must buys things to look for from the castle settlement. Nah, nothing. Big goose egg, if you will. And finally, for our Dark Zone vendors, we have Dark Zone East. Now, Dark Zone East is the only one of the three where we fast travel to the Alpha checkpoint and not the main entrance because the vendor is just outside of this checkpoint. And if you go to the main entrance, you have to run all the way through this courtyard. And instead of just hitting that double loading screen like I just did. And just so you know, that's the courtyard all the way out there. All right, here we are. DZ East. Agent, and starting with the Commando. This is the named SVD with Perfectly Naked, and it comes with Swap Speed. Following that, we have a Hunting M44 with Armor Damage and In Sync. And a Negev with Max Damage Targets at a Cover, Max Headshot, and Sledgehammer. Wow. Going to the gear items, we have a Negotiator's Mask with Health, Cavalier Holster with Armor Region, Lingmo Mask with Armor Region and Health, and finally, Wyvern Holster with Status Effects and Skill Damage. Wow, that's a good holster. Out of everything in here, the, the holster is the best thing, and you could easily just craft it. Looking at the mods, we have Repair Skills 15.8, Chem Launcher Duration 4.3, Hive Stem Efficiency, 8.2, Pulse Radius, 8.6, and Trap Duration of 4.1. Now, the only must-buys or anything to look for would be the Wyvern Holster. I wouldn't even touch it. Just max out those attributes. You're good to go. Thanks. And why does it keep doing that? It, it's steadily telling me to go here. Why? To do Manhunt Hornet? What's going on with this game? I, I know that it shows the... Uh, the, the invaded, but that was weird. It's like highlighting the manhunt mission. Do the manhunt mission right now. <laughs> All right, our last step, or our last stop, my bad, in Washington, D.C., is going to be the theater settlement. So here we are. Starting with the Calibre. This is the named shotgun with perfect jazz hands, and this one with headshot damage. Not bad. Moving on, we have a custom M870 with breadbasket and crit hit damage, a USC45 ACP with swap speed and future perfect. Going to the gear items, we have Heligard gloves with status effects and skill damage. And finally, Providence knee pads with double crit. Nice. I love me some double crit. So there you go. Double crit Providence knee pads. Going to the mods, we have armor on kill 16k. Seeker Mine Damage, 4.3. Shield Holstered Regeneration, 4.2. Firefly Damage, 5.9. And Decoy Duration of 6.0. Must buy things to look for from the theater. Um, the Providence Double Crit all day. You could easily just make the Weapon Damage Core an Armor Core and uh, have like a nice little, you know, tanky crit build. Not bad. I'll pick one up. All right, and that is it for Washington, D.C. So we're going to finish up in New York City. Now that leads us with our last two vendors. We have Marco at the top of the escalator, and then we have Roy Benitez just outside. Now let me know what must-buys you're going to pick up this week. That Vector 45 is really good. That 1886 with Determined and Damage to Targets out of Cover is insanely strong. We've had some good items this week. And speaking of, here is Marco. Starting with the CTAR with really high assault rifle damage, max magazine size, and then stabilize. Ish, nah, because then you'd have to optimize that health damage like six times. No, thank you. Moving on, we have a military M60 with crit damage and flatline. Nice. A UIC 15 Mod 2 with magazine size and steady handed. And then finally, a Profit. This is the named Magnum with perfect determined and armor damage. It's a really good sidearm. Looking at the gear items, we have Richter and Kaiser Backpack with explosive resistance, skill haste, and safeguard. 
Petrov gloves with double crit. Okay, okay, okay. So we have double crit Providence and double crit Petrov. And finally, Golden Gear Mask with weapon handling and status effects. Looking at the mods, we have crit chance 4.6, repair skills 16.1, shield active regeneration 4.2, firefly damage 5.7, and sticky bomb blast radius of 4.9. Now must buys things to look for from Marco. I would say the profit and the double crit Petrov gloves. All right. Uh, actually, er, uh, honorable mention, the Golang Gear Mask with status effects is good. Just note that these attributes are fairly low, so whenever you recalibrate that weapon handling to, say, crit chance or crit damage, remember you would have to optimize the armor and status effects. But the status effects does go with the Golang Gear brand set bonus of status effects, so there's that. Thanks for the drink. Okay. And that leads us to our last vendor of uh, today, and that is Roy Bunny Dirtes. But first, make sure you pet the dog, all right? Interact with this dog twice. The first one, you're just petting him, but the second one, well, that second one's random. So he could roll over, he could try to shake your hand, he could bark at you, he could jump. There, there's a few different things. Let's see what he does. All right, here we go. And this week, he... Oh, he's about to pounce around. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. Nice. All right. Roy Benitez. Hey. Starting hey. with the ACR, crit chance and ignited. Nice. Following that, we have a GR9 with max LMG damage, damage targets at the cover, and damage to armor with Sadis. This is a really good LMG. Um, but I, sadly, would change the talent. So keep all the attributes, but change the talent to whatever it is you want. Just not sadist, unless you're running it with, like, say, Ridgeway's Pride. Moving on, we have a classic M1A with max damage targets out of cover and eyeless. This is another great rifle. I would just change the talent. So let's see here. It does have the long underbarrel rail attachment slot, so you could easily just change the talent to flatline, and you're good to go. And finally, for the weapons, we have a Tactical M1911 with crit damage and bread basket. Looking at the gear items. Ooh, that's a good, that's a good one. All right. Um, this is a really good Overlord Armaments backpack. Concussion, crit chance, and weapon handling. What I would do is just recalibrate the weapon handling for headshot damage, and then that's it. Put that on a rifle build. In fact... Put that on the 1886 rifle that I showed you earlier in today's video with determined and damage tar targets at a cover because determined requires headshots. This backpack talent requires headshots, so you could easily capitalize on that. Not bad. Next up, we have a Walker Harris pair of knee pads with crit hit damage and weapon handling. You could easily make this one double crit just by recalibrating the weapon handling to crit chance, and then you'd have double crit Walker Harris knee pads. And finally, Badger Tough Mask with Armor Region and Explosive Resistance. Now, what you could do with the Badger Tough Mask is just recalibrate the Explosive Resistance off for, say, crit chance, crit damage, headshot, hazard, something like that, to go with the Armor Region, and then you're good to go for, like, a tanky shotgun build. And finally, we have the mods. Headshot damage, 7.3. Incoming repairs, 17.1. Scan range for the, tur or for the drone, 8.2. Firefly plus one max target. And sticky bomb blast radius, 4.9. Now, must buy things to look for from Roy Benitez. The GR9 is good. Just change the talent. The classic M1A is good. Just change the talent to flatline. The Overlord Armaments Backpack is good. Just change the weapon handling to headshot. The Walker Harris Knee Pads are good. Just change the weapon handling to crit chance and go double crit. And finally, the Badger Tough Mask is good as well. Just change the explosive resistance off for whatever it is you want. We'll Oof. All right. That is it for your weekly vendor reset and must buys for today, May 28th. 
I am Kamikaze Von Doom. If you enjoyed this video, found it helpful or informative in any way, shape, or form, please hit that thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing and let me know what you think in the comment section below. But that's it. Have a nice day. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.